Hello you guys. So we're here with Lola and she has got the perfect hair for the clipper back system. You can tell she's got that kind of like wire hair. I will say hers is pretty soft, um, but regardless, I think it's gonna be great for the clipper back. So I wanna show you real quick how we're gonna set that up. First, we're gonna come back here. This is my regular vacuum that's plugged in. We're gonna pull that out, pull this up and push our clipper back in there. It's gonna be step one. So, step two, I think I can do all this one-handed, we shall see. You're gonna slide that part off. Hello. Uh, and then, We want to turn this down. I keep it all the way up when I'm vacuuming, but when we're doing a haircut, we want to turn it down a bit. I'm going to start it there and just flip that switch on. So it's going to be sucking from here now. I can tell I can turn it up a little bit. All right. And we are good to go. Uh, the 
grandma that I talked to, and she said that she is an adventure dog. So, she didn't want me to cut her too short. Um, she wanted her to still have some hair, but she did want it short back here, so I'm going to probably go in with like a 10 blade back there and take that really short. She said she gets, gets nasty next back there. You know how it goes. Well, we are three minutes in, and I'm straight up almost done with, like, everything we're going to do with the clever dog. It's so crazy. Maybe we'll just record this whole haircut. Why not? Because her face is going to take me three seconds. So, anyway. Hi. Hi. Get me back down there. I need you up here. That's 
I mean, she didn't say use a 15 blade. She just said keep that area nice and clean up, you know. All right. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, and this little chain thing I got with my van, but you could probably get them in most places. Anything that you can use to kind of like tie that around, because that's the only complaint with the hound hammock is like a lot of dogs will slip their head out right there. I've started just locking that on every dog because um, I don't like to find out mid nails from that they're about to fall out of the hammock. Oh my God, you don't weigh anything. I just lifted her up so hard and she, I felt through her through the, the ceiling. It felt like, she said, what the fuck? Look at her face. She's like, the fuck did you just put me in? This is contraption. What is just contraption, huh? Okay. So, see how you're going to be. I'm actually going to do her paw pads first to get an idea. I always recommend doing the Sunday dogs, so let me show you. Uh, I always, yeah, see. That's why I always do this first, because the vibration sensation, if they're going to freak out really bad for nails, they always freak out bad for their ball pads, too. They'll, like, throw a bit. So, and she was, like, kind of, no, you're gonna, I think this dog's going to be just fine. You're a good girl, Lola. Do you see her whole legs? Like, how do you not like dogs like this? Like, she's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at her legs. She's so cute. Okay. Are you ready? Just a little. This is for me. Now, to keep it from digging my nails, you can either do like this and have your nail out straight. Or it will curve them under, but if you're going to curve them under, just be aware. Okay? You can also do, I'll do like this sometimes, so I've got the nail underneath here. Okay, so you're going to I always get asked how I do this with my nails. And it's very carefully. There you go. Alright, that's it for this side. I always blow the dust off my hand before I turn them because otherwise I'll end up like knocking some dermal dust down on my clean dog. Good girl, Lola. She's literally just like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Alright, let's finish it up. So again, if I'm curving around, I'll put them kind of into like my palm. I know some people do it from like back way, like this. Same thing, just touch your fingers on there and push the nails. You learn how to do it. You're gonna ding your nails at first. You just are. And, you know, I just, I dinged my gem just now. Like, barely tapped it. And it's fine. Um, I will say, too, with the nails, if you get the acrylics that it's like a colored acrylic all the way through, it's better um, than having the gel polish. Because if you do the gel polish um, and you ding it, it's really noticeable. But these I can ding because it's just acrylic all the way through. It's just a gel polished top coat. So again, if you do it backwards. I end up doing backwards on one side and out front on the other. And it also depends on the dog. Like this dog's not going to bite me if her life depended on it. So I'm not scared about getting busy with her. But if 
I was or my order differently. Because they can still get you in the camera if they wanted to bite you. Well, they can get you. their comfort but also yours because we want longevity we don't want to like kill our bodies after the first year so I like if I need to pull their leg out it pulls their whole body rather than like if I was trying to pull their leg out on the table and they were pulling the other way you know what I'm saying like I can pull on this arm and it just pulls the whole dog you know I really like that about the hammock some people are very anti hammock and that's I don't really get it I really don't get it I, I truly you have to explain that one to me okay